Your reign on the top was short like leprechauns As I crush so-called willies, thugs, and rap a dog uh, Get in that ass, kick fast like Ramadan It's that rap phenomenon, Don Dada Fuck Papa, you got the Call me Francis, M.H. White and take light toast, toe iron Was told in shootouts, stay low and keep firing Keep extra clips for extra shit Who's next to flip on that cat with that grip on
all done my own hair. I just took my braids out. So, yeah. Just fall in love with it. That's all you guys need to do. This month, honestly, just has been kind of wonky, I guess. Like, it's just not been a really good month, honestly. Like, there's just so many things that was just happening, especially with, like, the hurricane that's happened here in Houston. I was out of power for four days. Um, I had to kind of go like couch hopping to different friends' house who did have power. I stayed at my parents' house. My backyard is just completely destroyed. I had my stepdad come out, my mom to come out. Both had both of my parents to come out to actually look at some of the damages that was made and we're just trying to find sort of a, just a good estimate just to see how much anybody can fix it because honestly I'm just there was a leak in my range hood and then also today I just found out my garbage disposal don't work so real house girl shit for real a lot of different things that I just have to fix around the house and I'm just like I'm so over it sometimes I be telling people just like don't get a house like sometimes you just be having those moments where it's just like i don't mind renting and just having maintenance just come and fix my stuff <laughs> i also want to say that for all the people that were affected by hurricane barrel i think i'm saying that right um i do hope that you have family that you can reach out to contact with get in touch with and i hope that uh, you have some form of power um, i know some people who don't have power nor water but i do hope that you have a safe place to go to um but yeah that was a very interesting moment in our whole natural disaster history here so <sighs> oh i do want to talk about my guatemala trip i had a beautiful experience there it was so cool I, guatemala is such a beautiful country everyone there is just so friendly and i just i just really love going there i do want to go back and explore more um, I was there for about seven days. Um, it was just just a beautiful country. I stayed in Antigua, La Quinn, and also Lake Atalan, and it was just amazing. It was a really wonderful birthday gift for me, and I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, my brain done for 2024 since it's like half of the year, so I just kind of want to go back and check and see all the things that I had necessarily done from the new year, from the beginning of the new year to now, which is in July. So let's just read all the things that I said I was going to accomplish in the year. So um, get cavities fixed, Invisalign, yep. I'm doing that now. Birthday trip to Guatemala, I just did that. I did get a new MacBook. Um, create new and more YouTube vlog content. I feel like I can definitely do a little bit more. I do have a new camera, so this gives me no excuse to not create like new content for you guys. So yeah, um, save five thousand dollars in my Roth IRA. Uh, I have about, I think I save about twenty five hundred, so I, I'm pretty good. I think I'll probably hit that mark by the end of the year. So I'm kind of going the right progress. Continue swimming lessons. Mm -mm. I paid off my loan, which is great. Um, paid off one of my three credit cards. So that's pretty good. I plan on paying the rest of my credit cards by the end of the year. I kind of have a budget to where like, okay, I can pay this off by October and I can pay this one off by December. So continue Pilates classes. I have not been back to Pilates classes. I haven't really just been active, like honestly, since I got back from Guatemala. So it's just been, I've been kind of blind on that. Um, find a side hustle. Again, yes, I'm starting my stationary gift brand. I don't have a set date of when I'm going to release it. I really want to release it by the beginning of next year, 2025. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed on that. So yeah, we'll see. Lost, well, lose 10 to 15 pounds, no get back to running <laughs> yeah i should do that i mean i guess you can say i have completed that cook more less eating out yes i have been doing that i think that kind of helps when you when you budget your money like completely you're definitely going to be like oh shoot i've been eating out a lot i need to cut back i need to cook more i need to buy groceries so yeah 
uh read 10 books this year i am actually on my seventh book so i actually might read more than 10 books this year so that's a good thing finish my home office i don't know if i'm going to be finishing that this year i don't know um increase my job skills so i am going to get certification for my job i just started uh this month actually so i'm hoping before our before our performance i will have my certification by then get a nutritionist that's not going to happen because nutritionists are expensive i want one i really do want a nutritionist but right now when i i just add a new bill of getting my invisalign and starting this whole business Nutritionist is not in the not in the odds for me, but maybe one day I really want one, but it's just not right now. Uh, do more dinner parties. I would love to do dinner parties at my place. Um, I, I think about might doing one this year. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It's still in the air. So, um, get about two hundred and fifty to five hundred new subscribers. So your girl got over two hundred fifty subscribers. I just want to say thank you for all the people who have followed and been supporting me. So yeah, thank you so much. Um, get better with my skincare routine. It could get, it could be better. Like it definitely could be better. And starting my own website, which I will be doing next month. Starting my own website. And yeah, that's pretty much it as far as I like, kind of like the 2024 goals that I'm trying to complete this year. Um, I'm probably gonna have some more goals probably laid on the line. I just don't know yet. But I think this is a really good list honestly if you ask me anything else talk about no i am actually irritable today i just started my period so things aren't really too happy right now with me especially with like all the stuff that's going on with this house so i'm gonna let y'all go because right now i'm just i'll be in a better mood and then y'all probably see me with my hair being done so yeah all right which is called Imperineal, which is a stationary and gift brand. Um, my gift brand is all about encouraging productivity, creativity, uh, wellness. And it's not just about like journals, notebooks, planners, and pens. We have those different things. But I also want to give it a sense for just young women who, who really need to like just want to just take away from their just this digital chaos of a world and you know and kind of get back to like sort of like an analog world where we're just writing our thoughts and ideas whether it's 
it could be anything really honestly if it's 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 all about getting in tune with yourself and i've always been journaling i've always been writing i'm a very organized person i don't think i can go a day without organizing whether it's planning out for the week or budgeting for the month i'm I'm just always been that girl. Creating the stationary line has just always been sort of a passion of mine since 2020, but I've just always been kind of scared to kind of start a business. But now I'm, I'm ready to start this business and I've just been working really hard. I've been working with graphic designers, working with people who really support me into this new journey of mine. Um, there's so much work that I have to do. There's so many hats that you have to take on as a business owner and I'm just... <laughs> I'm excited about, uh, especially with the sort of designing and build phase and everything, and I, I just, I just hope that you guys love it and be excited as much as I am because I really want to take you guys on this journey with me throughout for the rest of the year and years to come. Right now, I'm just focusing on creating like the planners for 2026. The website is also in the making. <laughs> um and more things to come it's not just going to be just a stationary line it's going to be a travel accessory line it's going to be a self-care portion to it it's this is going to be i hope that imperino is going to be one of those like known brands that sort of bring happiness and satisfaction for all women um and again like we live in this world that everything is so fast paced advanced AI is coming in, so I want to get away from my my devices, my phone, my computers, and just write things down that makes me happy, write things down that has challenged me currently, write things down that just, that I want to celebrate, write things down that I hope that I want to see in the future, and I feel like they give sort of a sense of release, and I feel like it's sort of therapeutic as well to me personally, um, it's therapeutic, but I think it's therapeutic for every people for anybody around the world. So I just really hope that my brand can help you in that sense. So, but yeah, again, thank you so much for supporting me um, through my YouTube channel. And I hope that you guys can continue to support me in this business venture called Imperial. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or any advice for a new business owner like me, definitely comment. Um, definitely share your tips and advice because I really need all the advice because yeah, but I'm so excited. I'm so excited and yeah, thanks guys. I have my brother's dog, so if you hear steps, come here Trina. Come here Trina. Yeah, she's a little she's a little small little Yorkie, but she's so cute. Yeah, so this is my brother's dog. <laughs> but yeah, you hear noises in the background, that's her. What you what you doing today? Oh, you still go to work. Yeah, not all the teachers came back.